let's talk about this. If you're you say, oh, my property is a great one, or I have cell tower companies calling, right? Wh what do we do here? Like what? Like how do you how do we go about this? How do we even first of all know if you may? I I think my property's great, and I bet you a cell tower company would love to put a cell tower on it. What do I do? Like do I go out and fight? Like how does that even work? Do I like, you know? call somebody up look at a Zillow like what? <laughs> yeah I, I think everybody's like I, I don't know do I call up AT&T and just call their helpline and say hey you want to put a cell tower on my property well that's a great question um, as I mentioned before we've been in business for 14 years now and I would say we get between 1500 to 2500 people a month contacting us and say I have a great property for a cell tower and and not everyone has a great property for a cell tower. And the best way that we believe property owners can, again, I, and I say this, there's no way, and I want to emphasize this there, there's no way our company, anybody else, can go to an AT&T, Verizon, T-Mobile and say, I have a great prop a property, you need to put a cell tower out there. And they say, oh, geez, we didn't know that existed, we're going to go. You have to be in the pathway for how they're going to build their network. But what can you do? You can get your information in front of the tower companies that are building out and you get your information there. And while that's important, you're increasing your odds just a little bit, but it's important because when a cell tower company or wireless carrier is looking, first of all, they have to identify the area they're going to build out. Secondly, all they have to identify who owns that property. If you have your information, they know that. Third, they have to get how to contact you. And if you have your information already there, they can contact you. They also have to know if you're interested. You're identifying that you're interested. So that's a speed to market play. So they're cutting down, you're trying to cut down that gap between you and the tower company as best you can. Now, the problem is, unfortunately, you could, you know, there are a, a couple hundred a cell tower companies out there, some bigger than others and some more reputable than others. So what we do for clients is we present those uh, properties sometimes as they want us to to certain tower companies, about 40 to 50 ones. And if it goes in their system, if some pops, the property owner gets contacted and hopefully there's a opportunity for that, for that property owner to get a cell tower on the property. But there's no guarantee of getting a cell tower on your property. I wish, I really wish that everybody that contacted us, we could call somebody and say, hey, this is a great property for a cell tower. It just doesn't work that way. You can just increase the odds a little bit and that may get you a better chance of getting something on your property. Do you think most of them are, uh, most of the time, when the opportunity comes up, it's actually the cell towers initiating it. Yeah. Meaning that they've already got something on, they've been trying to get, it's it's just part of their plans already, and they're just trying to move forward with it. Well, they're, yes, they're definitely, when they're, when a cell, every cell tower is going to be built and has been built is initiated by the carrier. Nobody builds a cell tower and then hopes to get somebody up there, like an AT&T, Verizon, et cetera. The, the cell tower companies are led by the carriers and the carriers know where they're gonna build out. And they get that inf information to select it, tower companies, and they go try to find those sites. So there's a plan in place. That plan varies, of you know, depends on what's going on in the world and economics as well. But that's how the path, that's how the path gets drawn, basically, the simple way I can put it, there's some guy inside AT&T right now with a large map and he's putting pins in that map. When he gets his pins done, he contacts the cell tower company and says, we need to build something here, 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 and here in 2024. Now, where those places are, that's, that's driven by the cell, sorry, driven by the wireless carriers, not by the cell tower companies.